today's how to draw is how to draw the cicada here. Now, uh, most of these how to draw videos, I try to put a little bit of something new or different in each one. This time I'm going to show you how to draw one side exactly the same as the other side. So, check it out. Today's how to draw video is how to draw the cicada. Now when I make these how to draw videos, I'm basically just drawing and as I'm drawing I'm sort of thinking, yeah I do this, I do that. So if you're already drawing you might pick up some handy hints from this. So grab out your paper and pencil and maybe draw along. Okay, so I'm starting off here with my little model. A nice sharp pencil. I need to draw half of him. So, I've got a little V shape with a little bit of a curve in like that. I've got a thorax there. And those amazing eyes. So I'm using really sweeping lines to do this. Like I've said in some of the videos, you just sort of, you know, make these lines with a free hand flowing around. You don't want to get sort of stuck in doing this. You want to do this to start with at least. Well, it's a pretty good start. Now, I'm going to really look here at all the little patterns in the wing. First of all, we've got these must be structures or muscles to beat those wings. And this is sort of like here you know, looking at negative shapes. I'm looking at this line here. See what sort of shape it forms. I'm copying this pretty much as I see it. So it's just copying what I see here to get this pattern. So I'm just looking at the shape. They look like V's and letter Y's. I'm just like copying these shapes onto here. That one's a bit thinner than that one, so... Make it a ruler. Rule straight down like that. That's the first part of doing this drawing. Now comes the next bit. This is my homemade light box. Now, it's just a, it's an old scanner that didn't work anymore, so I pulled it apart, took all the insides out, so I've got a piece of glass there, and I've attached a light globe. I'll plug it in. And place the drawing on top. I'll use it this way. might switch some other lights out. Okay. It's working for me. So, get my piece of cardboard here. You can see it's a perfect image to trace. I'm going to trace all these lines. And this line I've drawn through there, I'm going to put a line there and a line there. So if you don't have a light box like this, you can just well, sticky tape your artwork up to the window on a nice sunny day and that can be a makeshift light box. I find I hardly ever use a light box, so this little one does me okay. That's one side done. Now, flip it over this way. Line up two lines we just did there. I'm just holding this because I'm doing this quickly but you might want to sticky tape it in place. A little bit of tape might hold it down so stop it from moving around. And there we go. Now we'll go to drawing which is pretty similar both sides. 
looking at the real saccade, it's fatter through there, so I'm just going to widen this through here. Working with a paintbrush gives you a very nice line. This is a nicer line than you can get from any sort of felt tip pen or marker pen for sure. So I'm moving my whole hand here. I want to do these lines fairly quick. Makes them smoother. If you can do them fast, it makes them smoother. Now, if I do something that side, I tend to do it that side. I just keep crossing over. Cicadas are such weird things, they look like hammerhead sharks, the front part of them anyway. As I do the body segments, I sort of leave a little bit of a white bit there, just to make the segments sort of show out a bit more. Now if you're going to use stippling as a technique, it's very good to really get in and make the darks really dark really bold, not sort of bold lines in between, otherwise it all looks a bit grainy. And he's all finished, he's dry, I can now take away the pencil lines to reveal my drawing of a cicada. And there's my cicada. Well, I hope you enjoyed that one. Check out some of my other how to draw videos. Maybe subscribe, drop a comment. I'll see you later.